Hello, captains of Arm Band. Welcome to our today's show. And today we have a very, very special guest with us. It's none other than Manish. And Manish is quite a known face in all the social media channels. We know about him. We want to know more about him. And the most important thing is, every day you ask, do you think that an Indian player can play in foreign lands? Here is your example, sitting in front of you, Manish himself. So I will just start the show by congratulating him and also saying, how are you, Manish? Uh, hi, thank you. Thank you very much. I I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. And it's I'm more fine right now that you are coming to our show and talking with us and all those who are listening. So I'm perfectly uh -huh. fine right now. Yeah. <laughs> so, so Manish, I, I, I won't waste any of your time. I will straight go into the question. And my first question is very obvious. Hai. Uh -huh. The journey of you as a footballer, how did you start and how your journey started from Mumbai to Spain? What made you start your career as a footballer? Because we all know that in India, a footballer banna, it's a dream of everyone, but after a few years, people actually tend to move from that path. So what mm -hmm. made you stick with football? Uh, so, so it goes back in 2010. So it was uh, the World Cup time and I was in my school. So uh, I used to watch uh, football yeah, World Cup, and yeah. since then uh, uh, it it drove drove to me an attention like football is a game you should play. So from there I started playing in my school. So after that, in two years, in 2012, uh, I, I got selected for the Maharashtra straight selection. So there was a selection and I gave, and I was selected among those. So I played for state, and after that I continued playing in school. And my family used to support me. They are like, if you want to play ahead as a footballer, you can go. You will have our support and all that. So uh, back two years back, I gave the selection here in Spain. So I came to Spain. I gave the trials and everything. Everything went well. Uh, and then I was selected. I was so happy. So since then, uh, I've been living in Spain and I play for a Spanish club. Quite a journey from a Mumbai to Spain and for a yeah. reputed club like Patonia and there are a lot of people asking how are you and all those things. Yeah. <laughs> so I will just ask with the go on with the next talking point or uh -huh. talking point because I'm quite interested India uh -huh. se Spain me ek bohat bara change tha in terms of environment, yeah. in terms of Hello, am I audible? Yes, yes. Uh, I think the network connection is doing a bit problem. No problem. Yes. I'm just entering within a Yes, Manish. I hopefully I am audible right now. Yes, I yes, yes. Some internet connection issue. Oh, so uh -huh. the question I was going to ask you is living in Mumbai, then moving on to Spain, bohat bara change in terms of food, habitat, lifestyle, environment. So pehle jab pe gaye, what was the first big change that you think affected you and how did you recover and how did you get accustomed to the weather and how are you feeling right now in Spain? So tell us uh, a bit about the change. So, so at, the, at the first, it was a bit difficult because you, uh, you live in Europe. So I thought it was a bit of a change for me, but uh, I got uh, accommodated to it. So I was happy. I was living here. So in few days, so I have my coach over here. His name is Vignesh Naika. He's, he himself is Indian. So with him, so it was like uh, living as a family. So we used to live together because, uh, because I was new year. So he was, uh, he was accompanying me. So we used to live together. So it, it became like a familiar surrounding for us. And I was like, uh, no, a different change. So, so the weather-wise, it's nice over here, living in Spain. And also the coastal cities like Mumbai, Kolkata, the hot <laughs> and humid weather it does it does yeah. make you tired. It's actually yeah. right that Spain in that sense is a good, good, good change. Now, to be honest, to be honest, in Valencia, it's more hot. I thought it won't be hot, but it's summertime now, and it's really hot. It, it's something that that's very hard to control with but the next big question about this is how did you overcome the language barrier did you started to learn spanish in mumbai itself or you just take the advanced learning course coming after spain so how, uh, how did that happen in india during lockdown uh, i used to study spanish hmm. 
and but when i came to spain a year i had my coaching classes of spanish and uh, also i used to take personal coaching classes for spanish so this is how i overcome the barrier but at starting it was difficult for me because the language was new so i i didn't understand anything but now i can i can speak i can understand the language it's always good for a football player to learn multiple languages and be multilingual and spanish is i would just wo- use the word the spanish sounds very exotic so that's yes, the word i yes. would use for that <laughs> but again the big the big question that lies right now is in your time at patacona cf that's a reputed club in spanish football yes. as well so yes how did that time gone there and you played in india and then you played in spain so what is the basic difference in the training modules mm-hmm. and also in terms of how they approach the game itself so it's a question that i wanted to ask oh, oh, okay so to be true back in india i used to train with my coach rohan jakta so uh, he he used to teach me he spanish is here for you yes <laughs> so he he used to teach me spanish football uh, technically and tactically because i already knew the the football in europe is different as compared to india because the intensity over here is different the game moves very fast very fast so because of my coach rohan jakta i was already used to play uh, the game uh, and everything but when i came to spain i was you know i was just shocked because the game moves so fast the intensity is so fast but thank you to my coach rohan jakta and my coach vignesh naikar because of these two guys i am at this level and i was able to play at such big level a big and the next question will be that let's take some comments like arhan saying hi hi arhan hi kabir hi, hi. Ka- all of them just want to listen to all the words that you are speaking right now i won't waste their time gorav praveen thank you everyone who is joining and the man himself is here and the next question yeah. or the next talking point will be he himself so wha- mm-hmm. what is the influence of rohan jakta upon your hey. career as well as football itself and the man is here uh, uh the influence of coach rohan jakta on me was huge because he was the only coach who taught me how to play a european football because before that i used to play football but uh, i didn't know that the game in europe was different so when i first joined his academy so he taught me like ah this is the game in uh, in europe you have to learn this you have to play like this so he used to do tactical board he used to teach us this is the game you have to do this like so you know that helped me really a lot because if, because because of him i'm here and i'm playing at this level so he he used to teach me basically everything about football on the pitch of the field how you should respect everyone as a football player and everything so his influence in my life is big it's it's always good to know to have a figure who just talks with you who just gives you the so having a role model in life is very important and i can tell yes. that rohan vijayta yes. is one of your role models and also yes. one of the biggest word hustle saying hi manish bhaiya people are just pouring in and yes. they are all giving the comments but yeah. one thing i genuinely wanted to ask you that is uh-huh. one big thing in spain in they believe in that i have talked to a lot of guys who are from spain nutrition they believe yeah. that a good player always have to have good nutrition which yes. is always a big problem in india so i yes. just wanted to ask you how important is it to have the proper nutrition proper diet chart and have uh-huh. your own personalized diet chart because yeah. in india we follow a singular diet chart where yes. there is everyone is eating the same in the team but yes. that doesn't effectively do it so True. what is your take on this so uh, at first my coach vignesh naika used to teach me nutrition so nutrition plays a very important role in your body and in your life so with nutrition you can last long in the field so and with a proper diet you can also play much higher levels but the things come he's like uh, you should know your own body it's like you should know how your body works actually you know much better than any other so you you should understand your body how my body works how should i eat those things so you know you should you, at the starting you need some help but in period of time you start understanding yourself ah if i eat this this is going to help me to stay long uh, to give me more stamina to play and everything so it's important you should first understand your own body language 
it's a very important lesson for all the people who are just listening to it because in football body is a temple and you have to take care of it and it's about yes. self discipline also yes a lot of self discipline yes you just can't eat burger like me and just say, <laughs> you can't do things like that yes you have to sacrifice that but again everyone yes. who is watching gaurav and everyone hustle kabir please subscribe to our channel and also share this video so that more people get to know about this video as well as also know more about manish because every day every day i won't lie here because manish is there every day someone will ask in the comment section is there any indian who is playing abroad is there the quality of indian player i have got that guy he has that quality he is playing in the foreign land so the next question i will just go to you is another important thing that is the basic schedule because i had one video with karan uh -huh. dikshit as well in the past he also trained uh -huh. in foreign he said me a very important word that in india often the basics are not given much importance like the basics yes. of receiving passing yes. in spain it it takes a very very high role in the team or say yes. it takes a very important role that you your passing receiving and your vision the three things and always scanning the field to watch where the half spaces are and all those things so what is your sure. take on this is is having a good basics help you and how much important is basics of football given in spain uh, uh the basics in spain you know you should be like thorough with your basics you, you have to be very strong with your basics so the most important when you enter the field you should know that your basics are, are at top level so you you even even you are not looking you know what is happening in the game so that is the basic of football like scanning where are you on the field so it's like basic thing so uh, you should work on your basics so if if you are like a pro in your basics so i think you can play a very high uh, high level in pro so basics play a important role on the field it's a very informative answer and yes. one answer i just wanted to know but again it's a bit off topic question but it's a light one but i will ask you because it's a whole journey so uh -huh. is there any memorable moment for you in spain that one memory that you will keep for yourself for the whole life i know there are a lot of memories to come yeah. but one lasting memory until now uh, but, uh, so the, there was a match there was a league match so uh, uh, we were losing the game so i, I came inside in 75th uh, or something like that and i gave the first assist and in the later on we won the match in the end so that was the first assist for me in the spanish league so i think that was a very proud moment for me and i think that moment will go down with me for the rest of my life and hopefully it will be more and more moments like this many yes. people will say many thing i i want to see you prospering more and more in spain because it's always good to have someone from our nation yes. keeping our flags high but again Thank another you. question which is i i think is very important to ask it's a bit more about the context that is in india we have seen the fields are not properly maintained but in spain yes. we have always always listen that even in the third or fourth division clubs the pitches are always pick and span they keep yes, the facilities yes. even yes. if they are basic very clean very neat so i mm -hmm. just wanted to ask you this how important is it to have a proper infrastructure at place even if it is small what is mm -hmm. the importance because in india we are often see there is a lack of basic infrastructure yes yes to over here even even in the lowest division like if we go down to 6 7th or 8th division the the facility uh, they try the club tries to give the best facilities as they can even if the club is on the uh, lower division so you your ground everyone has like uh, artificial pitch or sometimes even they have a uh, natural natural fields so you know they have their own uh, facilities like changing uh, changing rooms so for showers and everything it's it's already inside the field uh, like next to the field so after training you can go take a shower so while while going out so you are clean okay after the training you are sweating a lot so you need to stay clean so so you can take a shower so you can go out so that uh, these are the very basic facilities you should have in your clubs so in over here and i have seen uh, like I, i have been to like 30 40 fields over here so every field has these basic facilities in spain another thing that india should learn but the next question yes. the questions that we know everybody on ambed know and everyone close to you know but to all the other guys who just came to know about you can you tell us about your position and how did you develop and how did you decide that you will stick with that position on the pitch itself 
so so for i i always started playing as a right winger so i used to play a uh, right on the wing always because uh, my speed is really fast so that is one of the thing that i have learned myself that uh, i have a really great speed so i can play on the wings so i i prefer to play on the right wing but uh, since last year i was like uh, i will give a better try to the left wing so i shifted my position to left wing and it started really helping me so now i prefer playing on the left wing i have a question for you that is a very okay. interesting one but uh -huh. i will not just ask you go ask this one i will just ask you do you follow indian football as well because the time constant is there genuine time yeah. constant yes yes so it's uh, very hard to catch up so yes, do, uh, do you watch some matches uh i uh to be honest i watch few matches but uh, again uh, because of the time gap uh, uh, uh because i also have my training in the mornings and in the afternoons so you know it's a bit difficult to watch the games but i try my best to watch the highlights at least so uh, i can gain some knowledge so i always try to watch them so this is it and also another thing that i i wanted to ask a footballer itself and every time a footballer comes i ask this one one thing that i learned from reading tons of books about football is a footballer is a good footballer if you have daily habits and routines yes. and that are positive routines so yes. how do you believe that is having a daily habit and positive routines like sleeping early eating healthy and all those things help you yes. to become a good footballer in long term because we have seen talented footballers go down yes. the drain just because yes. they didn't have the discipline yes so it's like uh, it's really important to have a routine so you stay focus to your game to yourself so like it, you, know, you have to prepare a routine yourself it's uh, it's you yourself who has to play that level so you yourself have to make a routine so you should make a schedule or something like that so uh, this time uh, i have my training so i will wake up early an hour ago i'll prepare my breakfast i'll eat i will go to the field i will train after coming back i usually go to the gym after coming back from gym i usually do ice bath or something like that to recover myself and after that uh, in the evening we have another training so that's my club training in the evening so i usually go to my club training yeah. so i usually come late from the training because it's in the evening so when i come back uh, i try to eat as fast as i i can and i try to sleep as early as i can because next day i know i have another train so i need to recover my body as much as i can so you know uh, you should sleep well so your body recovers so the next day you are ready again you know just back to the training and it's so important because as you said the extra practice that you give yourself is the yes. one that makes a lot, whole lot of difference yes. because yes. in the pre team yes. training there is hardly any chance for you to develop your personal yes. skills yes so that's why it's very important as you have said and one thing that i wanted to ask you is that it's a very interesting question because a lot uh -huh. of people are there who follow certain superstitions and habits yes. Yes. and yes. do all those things especially footballers when i yes. was playing cricket whenever i was in bat form i take the bat of a player who used to be in a good form and take him and yeah. <laughs> i used to do this thing so uh -huh. i will just ask you so did uh -huh. was there anything that you do like that yes 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 i i have some my own rituals i have my training rituals different i have my game rituals different so for my training rituals uh i usually uh, kiss my boots before before wearing them i will kiss them i will wear and before entering the field i will just touch the field and look up and i have some rituals to do and for match day it's the same but only while entering the field it's like i enter with my right uh, right leg first so these are these are the things that you want to know about a footballer because it's interesting but the next yeah. thing i have to ask because people are asking a lot do you i follow any isl club and any isl club of your particular liking uh to be honest uh, i i have not seen much of isl to be honest to be honest i'm so sorry no problem it's tough because yeah. we have to watch la liga at 2:30 3:30 in the night yeah. 1:30 yes, yeah. so for yeah. a football player to wake up that late it's it's almost impossible so no problem yeah. <laughs> you can you can do something like this yeah. but there are also certain things so this is a pratik asks a very very good question on this to anyone who will go to spain from india uh -huh. that is 
will how much the language barrier will play a role and do you think a person can go and adjust within few weeks or will take a lot of time what do you think uh the the language barrier plays a huge role here in spain but it it's totally depend upon yourself like uh how you learn the language uh, like you, if you have the capacity to learn within weeks you can learn within weeks uh if you need some time it's totally up to you so it is very important to learn the language as fast as you you can because on the field is really important to communicate and to communicate in the local language plays a very important role so you can talk to the players in spanish language so you know so the bond becomes really good between you because you speak the same language so you you really understand yourself and your teammates how they talk how you can respond to them so i think it's a really important thing to learn and we, even we have seen in the highest of levels even in the premier league la liga level players who are not knowing the language they tend to take more time to adjust because yes, they yes. can't they can't get the talks which are happening in the field because yes. so a prime yes. example was darwin nunez for liverpool last season liverpool, but yes. again the one thing a comment from bhavi is saying your personality your physique and language has changed a lot showing your progress and growth and your passion towards the game cheers to your coach vn thank you thank you but again uh, in future it's it's a rhetoric question i want you to play as long in spain and play for the biggest of club but yes. is there any chance that you would come to india at some stages of your career and play for indian club yeah to be honest uh, i will feel very proud to play for my in, uh, to play for my country one day and i will be more than honored to play for my nation so i think i will wait for that day so i think that will be a very proud moment for me to play for my nation olga singh is this guy single <laughs> <laughs> so i will totally leave it to manish saying bit, bit to personal but again people are do interested in certain things and it, it's a part and parcel of playing football but uh, the the question that i would love to ask you is what is your long term goal as a footballer uh, both uh-huh. in spain and with the indian national football team uh so uh, i'm trying uh, to play as much as high in spain so my first option will be playing in spain uh, i'm j- trying to play as big as possible because my dream is to play in la liga or in premier league because they are the top leagues of the world every player has has this dream to play in la liga or premier league everyone has different dream, dreams but my dream is to play for la liga or for premier league that that is the primary option for me i would say and for second if i get a chance to play for india i'll surely come to india and i will just say one thing many people because a lot of people of indian football do watch our channel for all the news So I will uh-huh. tell them. Yes, I know you will get angry, but I will say this. I want uh-huh. him to continue at Spain and play for some La Liga club because That's I want to see. I am uh, waking for ten thirty in one one thirty two thirty in the night. I would yes. rather watch an Indian player playing there. I would yes. love it. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's something. It's something. It's it's one of my personal dream to see an Indian player playing there. But I I will just ask you this one: Are there any specific footballer? or coaches in the country of spain that have influenced you while you were there uh yes uh, it goes back uh, i usually started playing football because of one player his name is david bia so he used uh, in 2010 he was playing world cup for spain and i i just started watching football and he was the player that catched my eye so i was like uh, i will tra- start playing football and later on it shifted to the player named as gareth bale he used to play for real madrid so i think this both are my inspiration and i will and i continue and i will continue watching them play so they are retired but i watch their clips so gareth bale used to play my position so i try to learn as much as i can from him. and i and i know these things happen i i just told you the story of me giving a bat it yeah. this idea came from saurav ganguly itself saurav ganguly uh-huh. used to do this thing by giving uh-huh. the bat taking the bat of gloves or something like that so i got the idea though i am a sachin fan i i took that idea from saurav ganguly uh-huh. the same happens with footballers because i started to watch football because of ronaldinho ronaldinho uh-huh. with his curls yeah. and all those things yes, yes. this this inspired me for football but there is another thing that your coach is saying if a normal guy without doing high class professional training in india and straight away went for spanish club it will be difficult for that particular player to impress scouts 
and regarding to that i will go with another question so how did you get the opportunity to play in spain was it through a scouting program uh, uh so my coach rohan japta uh, uh, he had a contact here in spain with my coach vignesh naikar so he, he used to play here so he had a contact in a club so they they agreed to give a try so in back in 2019 i first visited uh, spain <laughs> so i was on a trial so i was here for 3 weeks so i gave the trial so i went back so i usually plan to come back within few months but the covid hit so everything was stopped so after that uh, one and a half year i i got the another chance to come back to spain so i came back so i gave the trials uh, with patagonas here so I, i was selected there and so i was with them for one and a half year so i used i, I used to play for them so it's been like that it's quite a journey and also flix is here a fan of yours i am seeing the fans are just pouring in from left right and center today but yeah. again the people asking shakib is singh in which spanish divisions right now you are playing uh, in spanish division it's called the regional one so it's like the sixth division of spain so i play for them and it's a great start for an indian player yeah. young indian footballer to start there and hopefully we will see you rising more and more yes. but again So Pratik, who is saying in which position do you play? He plays for the right wing and left wing. He's a right winger basically, but he also plays in left wing. And I will ask the next question regarding to this. Uh-huh. There are certain qualities uh-huh. that I have read and I have done all those things. But at mm-hmm. first, I will have to take this comment. Then I will just ask you the questions. With Shubham Singh, are saying, "Mom and Dad are so proud of you, bro. All the best for the future. Keep working hard." Yeah, he is my brother. He is my young, uh, older brother. <laughs> he is also proud of you and we are all proud of you and guys who are Thank watching you. this every day i said subscribe our channel i will today say also not just only to subscribe but please share this video more yeah. people should know about manish he is doing such a brilliant job more and more people should know everywhere so please if possible share the video so right now i will again go back to the question the question is already answered so another important thing is there are certain things that a right winger should possess according to yeah. the football books and philosophies and everything a right winger has great pace great technical abilities yeah. but what do you think are certain abilities that a right winger should right winger or left winger whatever be the position a winger should have or so what is the innate quality so basically uh, as a winger uh, your speed should be great your basic control should be at a high level because you know as a winger you go in so there are usually uh, one or two defenders are coming at you at a really high speed so you know you should be really quick to cut them to you know to fake them so you can cut inside as a modern as a modern football uh, a, a winger should cut inside and score some goals so that is the most you know basic uh, ability a winger should have also another interesting question here what is the difference you feel about india and top nation like spain and how can we become like them how can we become like them is a very big question i will just omit that but i will just say in terms of player development what is the big difference in spain and india uh, i would say like um, the players over here they start playing from like 4 to 5 years old in my club there are players from 4 years from 4 years they start playing football so you know at the time of when they are 16 18 they are already playing the top flight league of spain so i think that this is the big difference between spain and so this is everyone who is asking what is the big difference and i will just add one point until the day you don't become disciplined because i have seen footballers up close in india discipline is a big big issue yes, big issue yes, so yes. if you are disciplined as as disciplined as manish you can make the height and you can make whatever the situation comes but shubham bhai arvin saying he is proud of you and he will write an article about you so the next question is from hasal is it possible to play in midfield like a country like spain do you believe that in some point of your career if a chance comes you will you guys shift onto the midfield ah uh, yes uh, to be honest there was a friendly game so there was a first division team that came from i don't know so there was a team that came so we had a friendly game with them so my coach made me play the midfield so you know so the uh, a player should play at least two or three different positions so you know the coach trust you more so like 
he can trust you to play in this position or that position. So I think you can also play midfield over here. So you should be able to play more than two position at least. So there are well wishers saying, hope you play for the national team. Yes, we want to see you play for the national team. And yes, the chance will come. And uh -huh. it's lovely. But again, there are a lot of people who are coming in. Thanks to everybody for coming in. And before moving on to a very interesting section of the podcast, I will just ask you this question. That mm -hmm. one thing we have seen is that the coach plays a very, very, very important role in Indian, yes. foot in Indian football as well. But in Spanish football, we have listened to coaches. I had a podcast with Mr. Josh Bednash. He was the coach of Crystal Palace under-15 side. He used to uh -huh. talk that the coaches in the foreign lands give a lot more time on personal interaction. Because in India, we have seen coaches have to manage 50 to 60 guys. There are only two coaches managing 50 to 60. It's not always possible to go personal. So I will just ask you this one. What is the impact of a coach in a player's development? And in Spain, how importance do they give it? Uh, I think... The coach plays a very huge role in your footballing terms because a coach is seeing from outside so he can understand how a player is playing so you you should always have interaction with the coach you should if you have any doubts you should ask to your coach because coach is someone he will always guide you in the right way so you should always talk to him i have this difficulty so the coach is someone who will always give you solutions on that things so being close to the coach is something all the players should do. So it's an important lesson. And Flix, thanks you for sending the super chat. And his question is how tough is to, it is to get selected. And by the way, all the best. Uh, getting selected over here, it's difficult. Because you know, the football over here, it's difficult. It's different. And the intensity over here is too good. You know, there are players running for 90 minutes continuous, they are sprinting up and down, whole field. You know, within a second, the ball is from this field to the, that end of the field. So, you should be really quick. So, I think it's uh, the football over here is quite different as compared to India. That's totally. And also, a very interesting question raised by Kabir. And I will ask you, because we have seen often players playing in India, they go on to the off-season, they get uh -huh. healthy a bit. And they uh -huh. come back and they do lose their charge. Uh -huh. So this is one big problem that how you maintain your physique and how do you prepare yourself in the off season when there is no proper training and you have to do it all by yourself going to yes. the gym, yeah. putting in the extra yards. So yeah, it's, totally it's true. The, uh, I think the off season plays a very important role in a player's life because off season is the time where you can train uh, extra hours daily. So uh, it's my off season going on. So I also train. Uh, daily, I, I try to train daily because you know the rest is also important. You cannot uh, extend yourself. So yeah, the off season plays a really important role in a footballer's life. I think because yes, uh, you you can train really hard. And as for this is a bit question, Aditya. I know it's an interesting question, and I know he will be able to answer. So I will just ask this one. So how to maintain stamina? Because we all know football is a 90 minutes game and we often see here in India, uh -huh. by the time of 60 or 65 minutes, players do get Bhai, mera yes. ho gaya, ab main chalta ho. <laughs> So how, how, how do you think that we can tackle this? Uh, stamina, stamina plays an important role as a footballer. So, you know, the proper diet and the nutrition will help you to last longer on the field. So it's really important for you to have a proper diet and nutrition in your daily life. So I think this will help you last longer. So this is the answer for that. Priyanka saying proud of you. Yes, we are all proud of him. And it's a question. Finally, a footballer asking a footballer a question. Yes, Mahesh Bhai, I'm 17 year old striker playing for my local club. I want more expertise. As per as now, I'm play lethargic in wings. Somehow, when I got to play with the senior team, I do got, I do got replaced by a striker. But uh -huh. I, I think it, I, I will just ask the expert itself. Uh huh. So uh, it's like, can, can I, can I, can you just ask me the question again? Because, uh, I'm saying I play for local club. I want more experience now. Uh, so, being sometimes when I play senior team, I got. Uh, so it's like really important. So gaining the experience is the most important thing. So he's young. He's 17 years old, and he is already playing in the senior team, which I think it's the best exposure you can get as a footballer. So it doesn't matter you are getting replaced. Uh, 
uh, by other strikers yeah the the most important thing you should stay focused and you should gain as much as time you can gain in the senior team because yeah, for the longer longer run in the footballer's life it will help you a lot so you just need to stay focused and come your time will come for sure hopefully arvin this question will solve all your queries and also how manish how has been the season and how have you been mentally in the recent time so uh mentally i will see uh, i will tell my season was really good because it was my first season uh playing for the spanish team so it it, it went really good and uh, my coach vignesh nagar he's been training me psychologically so he he takes my session psychologically how you should be so you know i'm i'm prepared and i'm focused for it so you know if anything happens he is like come here he will train me psychologically you should be you should uh, respond like this in this situation you should stay like this in this situation so you know uh, i have been already prepared for situations like this very very interesting to know how you control your smile aryan saying he is a big fan of you Thanks. so yes and also this is a very nice question i will ask you this one so bhavi saying manish how do you control eating junk food i took a lot of i, I <laughs> do a lot of things to stop eating junk foods i true, still true. eat but uh -huh. i have to do a lot of work i used to eat a lot then i have stopped and thinking now nah, it's time i yeah. do something for my health so how do you control your the urges are real uh, so so if 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 you want to play a big level you should be able to control yourself you should have a proper diet you if if you want to play you, if you have that in yourself that i have to play this level you you always have to sacrifice something because you know without sacrifice nothing comes so you have to sacrifice that part of eating junk food but you once in a week so everyone eats that so but you you should control yourself because you know it's you who who has to play on the weekend if you eat junk food you won't be able to play if you if you won't play the coach will just sub you you have to sit on the bench so it's important self discipline again plays a very yes, key role yes. and also one thing rohan is saying how proud you feel when spanish people <laughs> cheer for indian players uh i would say it's it's a huge moment for me you know when you are playing a game and you have the spanish crowd and you know the, when there is some skills or something you do on the field and the the fans are sitting outside they start cheering you up you know it's like a boost it gives you a boost to play you know ah i have to do something more so it's like it's really important thing when people from other countries cheer you up to play so. and and it's always a special moment when people you don't know cheer for you because really you feel like yeah fine because family members are always there for you yes, but again yes. again shakib is asking this question for our team time so this time i have to answer so what is your age manish uh recently i got 23 he's only 23 so tons of time ahead of him Yes. and yes thank you aditya for sending the super chat thank you again to and everyone i am saying this a lot of times i know it irritates you but please if possible share this video so that more people know about him and also second thing if possible i will not force you if you like the content of our channel please subscribe to it and this question before moving on to the rapid fire round that is the last question how does you manage to be in your emotional staying away from the family and it's a big big dilemma for yeah, all yeah, indians yeah. we are very so, related to our family so it's like i i talk every day with my family members uh, i i'm i give them call in the evening before my training so in my free time so i have that uh, it's like a routine to me that i have to call my dad i have to call my mom or my brother you know we usually talk in the evening so you know on the video call so even even though i am far away from them but if you talk to them daily it's like you are close to them so in the early mornings we chat a bit so you know it's like but uh, it's it comes again to you know you have to sacrifice some things but you know always like, always good to listen to all these stories of people staying away from their families for getting their dreams done it's thing it's important but right yes. now there are a lot of comments yes arvin uh, this is the this is the last question to everyone who is asking question i will just complete the rapid fire session after this 
and after that i will take one or two questions so my mentor said that i spend very less on the ball i do only counters and tackles but i am not improving as a attacker do you think i should develop muscles and be more physical leave it to the master itself money uh, it's like being uh, developing physical or muscles it's up to you because uh, every player has its own thing so i will prefer staying uh, slim because i need to run up and down on the field if i gain weight i won't be able to do those things so in my position i prefer staying slim and fit but it comes again back to the player if if you think staying bulky it helps you you can be bulky but if you think staying slim and fit helps you it's totally up to you so it's a personal preference and yes salim you are a big fan thank you for being with us today please subscribe to our channel but now now the time for the rapid fire one sentence or one word manish it's all up to you and i assure you there will be no tough questions apart from okay. those one dreaded question so okay. first favorite football club all over the world any team it's real madrid the royal club the club yes. who is known for beating my teams ass every year liverpool <laughs> so yeah they are known for beating our ass every year yeah. so, yeah, real madrid a great great the biggest football yes. club in europe and as well as the world But yes. again, the second question will be: What is the toughest opponent that you have ever faced? So I would say the right back. We were playing in the uh, a league match, so there was a right back, a right back of the team, and I was playing on the left wing. So you know, I I have to dodge him. So there was like you know, there are some fights going on on the field too. You know, as a winger, it's your job to do the cross or to take a shot. So you know. the coach believes in you so you you should stand up to his word so you know it was a bit difficult but within few minutes uh, i did you know uh, i made some things to counter him so i was able to do those things very interesting to see and talk about the one on one battles because football is a team game but there yeah. are individual battles people yes, do yes. drag down people sometimes yeah. and it's interesting <laughs> to see people yes. fighting with each other on the pitch and giving the best but again the next question another interesting one and it's it's a tough one because uh -huh. one word to describe your playing style speed great answer i didn't expect you will answer so fast a footballer <laughs> who knows about distance again yes. a great quality so okay. best advice you have ever received from a teammate or a coach uh best advice from my teammate it was like uh they, they he used to believe in me so uh once i got substitute and he believed in me that uh, today it's your chance and later on that i went and gave an assist so i think that was the best moment for me uh as getting a compliment from my team all the madrid fans are wilding in the comment section by saying hello madrid yeah. but again i will just ask a few questions are left of the short, of the rapid fire and then you guys have all the time to talk about real madrid but again most memorable goal of your career uh it it goes back to my school schooling right so so that was the first game like uh i wear uh, i i got a new shoes for myself so uh, it was like uh, the league game and i was like uh, i'll try those shoes on so i just put those shoes on and later in the field when uh, when we were playing i just went and scored the goal i think that is the most memorable moment for me Uh, scoring a goal. Yes. A interesting story, and always buying a new shoe and scoring a goal. Yes, yeah, yes. It, it, it's a great feeling. But yes. again, the next one is favorite football memory from your time in India. Favorite football memory. So, so we used to do rondos. So I, I used to play in Delhi United with Coach Rohan Jatta. So in the training, we used to do rondo. So I used to try to not to make as much as play as I can. <laughs> so you know, my my I only used to have one aim that I have to not make this guy. So you know, I was like, let's try, let's try. So I used to not make as many as players as I can. And after not making, the feeling is real. The yes, one yes, who yes. gets not to make is angry, <laughs> but the one who does feels yes. good. Feels good. Yes. Won't lie. But one thing you wish you could have changed. about indian football development it uh, to be honest it's a really tough question to be honest so it's like 
you can focus on grassroots levels as much as you you can as in spain or in the other countries like european countries because they really focus on grassroots level because when the player comes to a certain age so he's already ready to play in the big levels so i think uh, in india we can start uh, focusing on grassroots level as i think personally from my side as my point of view but you know every everyone has their own point of view so you know you have to respect and use and the final rapid fire question and the one that every people like arvin then everyone who plays football people want to know any aspiring footballers in india dreaming of playing in spain sorry sorry a message for all those guys uh -huh. who want to play in spain in the future from india to all the aspiring players any suggestions uh, i will say like keep trying keep trying as much as you can you know you should believe in yourself you should stay focused and one day for sure your day will come so you just wait for that moment you will make everyone proud so there are a lot of questions i will take two or three before because we know i can't keep manish any more because he has a busy schedule and i won't keep him for any much more time but what stuff you prefer nike or adidas or any other brand uh, i i usually prefer nike mercury so i a man of culture i will yeah. say not anything more than this but a man of culture but manish is the only star player who used to do maximum nutmeg in the training session yes <laughs> what's feeling when you send the guy nutmeg video <laughs> the player gets angry but yeah, yeah, yeah. i am not taking this risk <laughs> yes so we we uh, so our coach used to make videos so you know if there is a nutmeg video we will just grab that and send him on the group and you know everyone is like you got nutmeg so it, you know it was the best moment you know and to take yash's question that is how you see current indian national team performance india has performed quite well in the yeah, recent yeah. time so what do you think yes uh, to uh, they they have won the uh, the cups and everything i feel really proud as an indian to see your nation win and you know uh, and people started watching football in india and i think it's a really proud moment as an indian to see uh, the indian football is growing and in the coming days i know for sure the football in india will grow in a very huge amount and i hopefully you will be one of the flag bearers yes. thank you and to everyone who is watching our show thanks a lot for joining in today because i know i planned 30 minutes show today but so many questions so much love for manish that i have to keep him for 17 minutes extra time is not a problem for me but for yeah. manish a footballer it's, it's 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 a busy schedule so much thanks for giving us your time precious time for a big big thank you so guys friends that was all for today fir milenge kal dopahar ko aur guys ek cheez sirf yaad rakhna video ko thoda sa share kar do apne whatsapp group family friends group mein ya football ke group mein and also share to everyone who gets nutmeg no problem aur aaj ke liye itna hi fir milunga kal dopahar ko so guys tada